I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. I want to talk with you today about burdens. I don't know about you, but I know in my life, quite often, almost daily, you know, I've got something going on. It might be something small. It might be just a, you know, some text or emails or or something at work that's going on, or it could be large, some conflict in in family or health, um, finances. You know, when you really start to think about it, everybody, Christians or non-Christians, everybody has burdens. Everybody's got something going on in their life that they don't have control of or they can't get their arms around. And I know what happens to me at times when that starts to happen, you know, I start to really focus internally on resolving my issues, taking care of of my space or my life or my business or my health. But just this week, and and I've read this verse before, and I, I, I practice it, but I don't practice it enough. I don't practice it um, as often as I should, and I'm working on that. And I want to encourage you on this. So if you find yourself where you, you know, you're just internalizing everything on your own, no matter what's going on in your life, I want you to, to read, you read the whole verse at Galatians 6.2. But the part that really I want you to focus on is, Bear ye one another's burdens. So... What happens in my life when I'm focused on myself, when I'm focused on my burdens, then, you know, those become, they take priority. And when they take priority, they they pull me away from God because I'm not leaning on Him as I should. But they also take me away from my responsibility of helping others. You know, that help could come in, in numerous forms. Three of those that I can just think of off the top of my head is, you know, um, listening to someone. A lot of times people know, so a lot of times I know what I need to do. I just need to talk through it. I just need to verbalize it to someone and have them listen. I'm not really looking for a lot of advice. I'm just looking for someone to listen. The other is sometimes I am looking for that advice. I am looking for an expert or someone's, you know, advice or counsel or wisdom to help me see Hey, you know, I think I'm right here. Um, or I've got 80% of the picture. Can you help me fill in the rest? Or what am I missing? Or whatever it may be. So I'm, I'm looking for someone to help me. The other sometimes that is that physical, like literally um, someone um, helping, you know, many hands make light work. I'm exhausted. I've got a lot going on and I just need somebody to come in beside me and say, hey, what can I take off of your plate? Uh, what can I do? To help you. So, you know, flip that. You know, being married, what can I help my wife do at the end of the day? Because she's tired. She's got burdens. Or what can I help my daughter with? Or what can I help um, one of my business associates with? Or my pastor? Or just a friend? Hey, what do you have going on? Is there something, you know, you're moving? Hey, do you need some help? So you automatically move. If we hear some, you know, if we hear someone's moving, we think, oh, they've got plenty of friends. And in reality, most people who are moving have very few people who are going to help them. So they either have to do it themselves or hire someone. So they're, they're spending money. So when you start looking in this, you know, I want to encourage you, and I'm encouraging myself as well, don't become so focused on all what's going on in your life. Don't become self-centered. Don't become just, oh, I've got all this going on in my life, therefore I can't help someone else in their life. See, what normally happens here, when we start helping others, what happens? Others start helping us. Now, it might not be the same people. What goes around comes around, karma and all of that that we want to say, but it's biblical. See, when we're doing what God asks us to do, when we're doing it His way, then He's going to bring people into our lives to help us the same way we've been helping others. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So remember, Galatians 6.2 says, you know, bear ye one another's burdens. Look around you. Who could you help? It doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be a lot of time. It doesn't have to be, you know, an exhausting effort on your part. It could just be calling up someone and saying, hey, you've got five minutes to talk. i got five minutes to listen. Or, hey, you want to, you know, grab a quick cup of coffee or go for a walk in the park? 
You just never know what God could use you in someone else's life to help them in the, the burden or burdens or the point in their life that they're having. So do it. Try it. Just go out and see if you can help someone in their lives, help take that burden off of them. And the joy that you get from that, you know, that old saying, it's, it's better to give than to receive. Uh, when I find myself doing that, just the joy of, of seeing someone get through what they're going through is very satisfying. I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. You can find out more about this ministry at handlinglife.org. And there's also a ton of materials. I've got a book um, uh, called Modern Day Jonah. I've got another book called Work Life Balance. There's other podcasts. There's other videos. Um, there's worksheets. There's all kinds of things that can help you, no matter where you are, see how to apply God's Word to your current circumstance. And once we can figure that out, it really helps. It helps me and it will help you get through what you're going through.